Hi everyone and welcome to Extreme Landscapes. I'm Brett Ray, your host and the owner of Village Landscaping. First, let me thank everybody for tuning in and hope that you join us each and every week as we create some of the most unique and artistic landscapes to be seen in the industry. So sit back, enjoy yourself, and let's get started landscaping. Brett Ray's Extreme Landscapes is brought to you by the Atrium at Serenity Point in Hot Springs. Luxurious, independent, and assisted senior living on beautiful Lake Hamilton. Landers Imports on Colonel Glen Road, Land Rover, BW, and Jaguar. Hug and Hall, your authorized Bobcat dealer. Eight Arkansas locations for sales, service, and rentals. Hot Springs Bank and Trust, make your banking simple and effective. National Greens, professionally installed synthetic turf. And by Village Landscaping, voted Arkansas's top landscaping company. I'm here today with Drew Kell, a friend of mine, a customer, and we've been looking at waterfalls for the last couple weeks, uh, trying to decide, you know, what's best, where, and all that type of stuff. And uh, Drew knows what he wants, and uh, we, we've got it figured out. You spend a lot of time outside? Yes, uh, we love to sit out on the deck at night, and I love to barbecue, and, you know, but I always wanted to have a water feature. I had. I had a plan in my head and we discussed it and um, took a look at the area that it might be best viewed and heard and then those, those were the two priorities, That's the viewing right. and the hearing of it. This is Drew's better half, this is Lois and Lois has plenty of uh, thoughts on the water feature herself and like I said, uh, a lot of times customers will just kind of leave it up to us and, and don't know but I, I know through spending a lot of time with the Kells, they know what they want. And uh, what were some of the things that came to your mind whenever we first started getting into this project? Well, we, did, you know, we wanted it relatively small scale compared to some of the things that we've seen because they were huge, almost like Niagara Falls. But uh, obviously it had to be high enough so that we could see it from the deck and have the right drop to get the sound and all the things that Drew has already mentioned. But just to have the water and that attracts the birds and the wildlife, it's wonderful. Okay, so in building this, uh, we want to pull it out far enough that it's, it's very viewable. Um, we're talking about having the back of the water feature about this tall, about three and a half foot tall. It's gonna overhang. So the pond itself will probably be about this shape right here. I'm just kind of dragging this around kind of keep it pretty simple, not too wide. And then as we build the water feature up on this back side, we've got to realize that it's going to have an area that falls off. So as it falls off towards this back side, it'll come as far as this out. Right. This is where we'll do the ornamental grasses and the plantings to really bring it to life. So as we come off of here with our shape and design, we'll move in this way and we'll either incorporate the bird feeder in it or just around the back side of it. So as we come around here, what really makes these things look real is it comes up with its height, it's gonna come down and then back up about right here where we're gonna put in some large boulder settings. And we'll give it some shape with some decorative mulch. It'll wrap back in mm -hmm. just like so. Is this kind of what y'all were thinking too? In like this. And then we're just going to run right around the front side because there will be rocks all around the front side of it. Coming just like so. And then we'll flare out this way over into here and catch one more berm. So basically the entire project will just take up this amount of area right out and through here. Okay, you got your area pretty worked out. Kind of come around just like so. about like this.
Right. Okay, we got all of our prep work done. The pond is built. We've got the low point where we're going to be putting the pump so that we can drain the entire pond. Now it's time to put in the industrial strength liner and let's get to rocking this baby. Okay. Let's pull down a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and pull that pull around this way for this day. Yep. Okay. Okay. Pull it this way, Tad. Right there. You need to make sure you got plenty of height on that end. Okay. All right. Time to start laying some rocks. Let's get the uh, first boulder. Let's get it right in here. Get another boulder about the same size on that side. And we'll start working the rocks in through here. Maybe take the uh, nicest one with the most crystals and put it at dead center. Hi, I'm Steve Landers with my son, Scott, where we are continuing the tradition with the all-new Landers Imports. You know, I only put my name behind quality vehicles, and I'm proud to say my sons have done the same thing. With great brands like Volkswagen, Jaguar, and Land Rover. Plus, we have the cleanest pre-owned luxury vehicles in the state. Come see us today or go to LandersImports.com. And remember, we're the home of the seven-year, 100,000-mile warranty. That's the all-new Landers Imports, conveniently located in Little Rock on Colonel Glen, just above the Ray Theater. Arkansas's number one landscape designer opens Village Landscaping Supplies to the public at discount prices, including topsoil, an assortment of mulches and gravels, artificial lawns, boulders and pallet rock, beautiful fountains. Village Landscaping Supplies is home to world-famous Everlast Rubber Mulch. Save money on the largest selection of landscaping and garden supplies for your home, located at 265 Bud McKinley Road, just outside the Balboa Gate, half mile on the right. Serenity, the state or quality of being serene, calm, or tranquil. The atrium at Serenity Point on the beautiful shores of Lake Hamilton in Hot Springs, Arkansas, will redefine senior living. The atrium offers luxurious vacation-style living, and every suite offers a lake view. We are always at your service, making your life here as comfortable and carefree as possible. Make your reservations today for your private getaway at the atrium.
All right, Drew. The guys are starting to rock and roll. Things are going to happen fast. But if we got any shot of getting done today, we're going to have to go to the nursery in here in just a bit and pick out all of our plants. All right, let's Sound get going. Good? Go. All right, let's roll. Okay, so anyways, I think that with the style that we're looking for, the purple fountain grass are great, but we still need a few more of the smaller ones that'll get bushy. Mm -hmm. Those are really pretty. Looking. I like the way they flow. Okay, these these fountain grass are a lot shorter, but they look great. They won't really be matching. No, no, okay, we won't. We that, won't go we with the match. Quite look. that symmetrical. Yeah, nothing symmetrical in no. here. But these will come back next these year. These will come back next okay. year. Yes, that's a good thing. How about putting both the purple and the yellow green next oh. to each other just for some contrast? I, I think that would look great. Yeah. I think that would look really nice. Very pretty. That was my idea. Good idea. <laughs> All right. <laughs> is that the same? These will get almost three foot tall. This is uh, oh, the blooms okay. with the pink and the white. Oh, that could be pretty. If we just got one for each side, it would look real good. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one looks really nice. Grab okay. it. What we've got here is the lower petal that y'all have chosen. That's going to go around the front side of the pond. It's going to give you year-round color. It doesn't get any taller, and it gets a little purple plume on it during the springtime. Okay. Uh, that, like I said, is an evergreen, and it's, it's important we have something back there that lives the year-round. Mm -hmm. So by us taking the sweet potato vines and kind of working them in there, we're going to get a little different look than just all grasses. Now, are those going to go in with these lower grasses also, or are they going to be up closer to the waterfall? I think they'll be up closer to the waterfall, and we'll let those hang down. Yeah. I think that'll give it a really nice natural jungly look, look. Jungly look. Mm -hmm. Then we're moving on to a, a fountain grass, and this is a little thicker. Uh, that'll be more towards the sides. So we'll have this towards the front. This will go towards the sides mixed with this purple fountain grass, so we get a splash of a different color, mm -hmm. which will blend well with what you were saying, let's get some purple sweet potato vine and mm -hmm. let's get some bright green and then kind of mix that in there so we'll have uh, you know, some contrast with the Great. colors. Now as we get here with the taller grasses, these will go behind the big rock settings. Mm -hmm. And I think all of this incorporated together will give a really nice look. When I told y'all yesterday morning that I was struck by lightning, this is where I was standing and oh this, my. this is what did it. And I, I'm, very fortunate to be here because uh, it knocked me out and drove me into the ground for upwards of five minutes. Wow. So that is amazing. very fortunate. I don't know that anybody. The tree would... didn't survive as well as you did. I don't think the tree is going to survive. We're going to call him Sparky. Sparky. New name for Sparky. <laughs> <laughs> Serenity, the state or quality of being serene, calm, or tranquil. The atrium at Serenity Point on the beautiful shores of Lake Hamilton in Hot Springs, Arkansas, will redefine senior living. The atrium offers luxurious vacation-style living, and every suite offers a lake view. We are always at your service, making your life here as comfortable and carefree as possible. Make your reservations today for your private getaway at the atrium. Hi, I'm Steve Landers. And I'm Scott Landers for the all-new Landers Import. You know, one thing we pride ourselves in is that our customers will always get more than they expect from all areas, including service. At Landers Imports, we proudly service Volkswagen, Jaguar, and Land Rover. We'll take care of your car no matter where you bought it. And we have 18 service bays, and we're open every day except Sunday. You can expect more at Landers Imports, located in Little Rock, just above the Rave Theater on Colonel Glenn. 